Hey, pilots! Drain Man here, and today I have a very exciting video. In today's video, we're going to be checking out the all new, the brand new Tiny Hawk 3 Plus HD Freestyle Quadcopter, and you are not going to want to miss this. Let's go! <laughs> All right, pilots. So here's the deal. I've already opened this up. I've already taken it to the sky and I had a blast. This thing flies and feels and the characteristics, the way this quadcopter flies are just like a five inch. I can soar, I can zoom, I can flip, I can inverted y'all spin. I can do it all and I can do it all with the kit, it's a kit. If you're a beginner and you're wanting to know where to get started, this is a beautiful, beautiful place to get started because you're getting set up on something that just feels and flies like a full five inch quadcopter. You get a goggle, you get a radio, and you're off to the sky. It all just works and it's fun. And you can upgrade from here. You can do other things. You can get a better radio. You can get better goggles. You can get more drones that work with these. You really are unlimited in what you can do. All right, I want to go ahead and throw up some footage for you so you can see that you can have fun. You can fly and freestyle, or you can zoom and play high up in the trees, or you can even fly this thing like a racing pilot would and hit a track and run that track and run it hard. This quad is very versatile for its size, and it is a lot of fun. So let's go over some specs. We've got this beautiful carbon, which they did with a pattern design on, which is not new. They've done that on the previous versions but man it is cool and you've got this unibody bottom plate very thick carbon for something so small we've got a built-in battery rubber grommet that holds your batteries when you put your batteries in you're getting two 650 milliamp hour batteries that is higher than normal we're normally running 450s and the reason why they went up to 650 is because the HD unit is a little more heavy but with this you are still getting six to seven Sometimes eight minute flight times, depending on how you fly. If you're shredding the way I'm shredding, not really. But if you're just cruising along, you can get about seven minutes. It's still a 2S drone, although it is two 1S batteries. And what you do is you open your little strap on top, almost like a regular five inch. You put your two batteries together, just like yay. Slide them under. And then you strap that puppy on like that and you are on your way. You've got dual plug in the back. It will not power with just one. So you can plug one in, have it strapped ready to go. And when you're ready to actually take off, you'll plug in the second one. And now you're on and ready to go. The radio comes already set up. All you literally do is power it on and it will bind right on its own because they've pre-bound it for you and it is ELRS, it is E8 ELRS and look at this, normally you gotta try to figure out your switches. If you're a beginner, even harder because you don't know how to jump into Theta Flight and you don't know how to find your switches and which switch goes where, what's AUX1 and what's AUX4 and what, what does all this mean? You don't have to deal with that. If you're a beginner, this radio is set up and ready to go and it's labeled. There's turtle mode, there's your beeper, Here's your arm, we'll go ahead and arm it, take a quick peek. Look at that, right on the bench, all right? And then up here we have our beginner, immediate, and expert mode, intermediate. What that's gonna do is get you from angle to horizon to full on acro, baby. And we're gonna jump into the goggles. So check this out, these are the Transporter 2 HD goggles by Emacs. Watch this. <laughs> Yes, that is what makes this cool, and you've seen these before, and you're going to continue to see these because they come with a lot of their ready-to-fly kits, and you can't beat it. It's a freaking module that you can put on a camera stand. You've got a uh, uh, screw right here in the bottom. They even have an attachment that goes right here in this top little rubber. Pop this open, it slides right in, and then you mount this to your radio. So you're like this, you're DJI style, baby, if that's what you're into. So maybe you're a beginner, you're not ready for goggles, you want to keep it on the radio. Do what you do, boo-boo. 
this is all you. All right, so that is absolutely fantastic. Now you've got your, now, and the, I know they're just basic box goggles and nobody wants that, I, I know. You guys want full on fat sharks or DJIs or you want, you know, you want the good stuff, I get it. But when you're getting a ready fly kit and you need to start somewhere, these are fantastic because you have your plug and firmware plug, boom, so you can do updates. You got full SD card slot right here, look at that. And then over here, you've got type C. Now, when I charge this up, I get about an hour of flying with my HD freestyle. But guess what? If I just simply plug that in, loop it over to a, a LiPo or a, a Morphe pad or something that's gonna give me power, I can fly unlimited. I don't have to worry about battery. So just like my regular goggles, I plug them in, battery in the pocket. You do that with this, you got a built-in fan so you never get too hot. Absolutely awesome. Full DVR recording, I believe you're at 720 on HD, full recording DVR. Can't beat it, you really can't. Not for the price. And then if you're ready to go, full immersive. Throw those on. Now me, I have glasses, so yeah, you know. But you can put them on top of your glasses or pop the glasses off. You don't need them if you're up close, right? <laughs> you are just getting these two linear antennas. You don't have to stay with those. You are more than welcome to swap these out for better antennas. They're just an SMA connector. You unscrew, boom put in the new one, boom, and you're good to go. Plus, you'll take these on and off when you put this in your bag. Well, you don't have to because they fold, so we can fold these. We can fold those down and make it compact, or you can just unscrew them when you throw this in your bag so you're not messing up your antennas. So on board, you're gonna see this little cute camera in the front. This guy is actually very powerful. That is an HD Zero camera, and it wires up and comes to the HD board here in the center, and that is your VTX. That is handling all of your video for you, communicating to these goggles, sending live video feed, so you can fly and have a blast. Now, underneath, you're gonna see our AIO. That is our ESC flight controller and ELRS receiver all built into one. And that is an awesome board that was well designed and has plenty of power to run these brand new bigger motors that they have upgraded to. And these are the 12025 7000 kV motors running the traditional two and a half inch AVAN props. And these props have been around for a while and they are awesome. They're sturdy. Look at this. This is, I still have more props that it came with and I haven't even touched them. And I've taken some hits. Something I absolutely love is they've uh, punctured some holes in the bottom here, which is really cool, right? Get some airflow, save a little weight, all that kind of stuff. But look what they did. They put a piece of plastic here, see that? And what that's gonna do is that's gonna keep moisture. That's gonna keep leaves, dirt, all these things from getting up in there and touching your electronics. So that's very cool. You're gonna notice that the motors are mounted with three screws each. They shaved one to shave a little weight. You're gonna notice that you've got a built-in capacitor right here on your connector lead and it is a dual JST connector. It is not the XT30. Mm, that's up to you. If you're an XT30 guy, you got plenty of XT30 packs, maybe some two cell 1000s or something like that. You can go ahead and drop these, cut this off, solder on an XT30 and run what you want to. You don't have to use this, but I don't know. I kind of like it. It's, it's easy and it allows you to buy dozens of these really cheap batteries and just keep on flying. You've got type C connection right here and that's what I did. I went ahead and connected. I jumped into beta flight. I changed up my rates. I went through everything, make sure it was how I liked it. And honestly, I was impressed. Everything was fine. It does come natively with regular prop direction. I don't know if you're a reverse prop kind of guy or if you know what that even is. If you are, you can take a moment to jump in, turn that around, and then get these props going the other way. The props do not come installed. Also in your bag, you're getting some extra connectors. You're getting a loop jumper. If you're unfamiliar with this, let me show you. So what this does is this is going to loop back around for you, see that? So if I pop this in, remember how I showed you earlier, if I plug in one battery, nothing happens, right? Because I'm not completing the circuit. So what's gonna happen if I put this in, it'll allow me to power with one quad, with one battery. See that? So now I'm running just a one cell. That is not something you want to do, right? 
at least traditionally, because this is a two cell quadcopter, your KV, everything is gonna match to run dual voltage off of two batteries. So if I'm running just one, yes, I'm getting less milliamp hour, but I'm also getting less voltage because now I'm only running a one cell. And that's okay, maybe you wanna do something very precise, and I don't know if it's gonna fly like that. Let's, let's see. Actually, before I go telling you this, Maybe I should do my homework first. And it's kind of sloppy, but we're just trying to see something. Okay, we're armed. Okay. Oh, 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 okay. <laughs> Alright, so. Oh, shoot, I need to shut it off. I literally landed it in my hand and never shut it off. And you want to know why? Because on my radios that I set up, I always put my arm switch here and it's here. And you can just pull your little jumper out when you're done. So why would I do that? Why would I just connect one battery? Well, maybe I want to fly in the house and I don't want to fly too crazy. Or maybe I want to uh, get an awesome shot of something. I want to chase somebody or kind of you know, get up on something and I don't want to be too jumpy or fast or whatever. You're not going to be able to set up a throttle curve or any type of uh, throttle limit on a radio like this. So that allows you to do that if you want to run one cell instead of two. Last but not least, you get a charger for your batteries. If you're running the two 650s, you can buy more. This is going to charge up to six batteries at one time. So you just simply plug them in. Boom and boom, and then you plug that into a block. You'll get a green light letting you know it's charging. When the green light turns off, you're charged and you're ready to fly. All right, pilots, that is gonna do it for the Tiny Hawk 3 Plus Freestyle HD Quadcopter, and you can purchase this in analog, which I am gonna do. As soon as this drops, I am buying me an analog version because I love to have these around. I have so much fun with these, trying new tricks, trying new things, and just overall, when you're out having a blast and you're done, you've destroyed all your full-size quads, you go up with the Tiny Hawk and just have some fun. So, I hope that you guys had as much fun as I did. I hope that you guys will go get your own Tiny Hawk 3 Freestyle HD. And I will see you on the next one.